Welcome back to EA Sports, everyone. I'm James Cebulski. We're in Winnipeg, Manitoba, one of the loudest barns in the league, and they are rocking for the Jets tonight. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. The Avs are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. Broken up in the neutral zone by Shifley. Big time stop. Knocked away. Shot deflected. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Big play inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Morrissey. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. Great poke check on the reach. And now he tries to get it across to Rantanen. What a steal in his own end. The Jets will play it from the defensive zone. Morrissey's got the puck. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Avs are in transition. Center into the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Caves plays the puck. From the blue line, they take control of it. And that carries off a stick. Quick pass over to Connor. Takes the pass. Change up, change up. Slick feed. Shot. Club save. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Still plenty of time left in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. And they win the draw in the offensive zone and they go to work. His reflexes on display tonight. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey, putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. To the front! And he opts to wait for more support. And he takes the pass. Oh, great reflex pass stopped by Hillebuck. Gerard's going to play it against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Wood. Puts it on net, and that one's turned away. Look at this attack here in the O zone. The Avalanche have the puck in the neutral zone. Colorado's on the attack. And that's a smart heads up play by Pion. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Keeps it over on the rush. Here's a shot, and he makes a save there. Denies him again. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Hellebuck's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We're still scoreless. Colorado's got it, and they're on the attack. Snuff's no, no. He scores! What a goal! Well, there's so much emphasis on winning face-off, James, and this is why you get possession and you get a huge opportunity quick off the draw. Colorado's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first. Uh, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to play with the lead, not behind it, James. And now it's what they do next. They've created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing to attack. Score! Strips it off the top of the Wow! They almost a double take there, James. And you hear that sound. Sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. Wouldn't it be pretty if this was a set shot? Just aim for the inside of the post and know that it's gonna go in? That's not typically the case, but tonight it is. Setters glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied that one. Great pressure with the stick. Quick pass to Barrett. And it backs off a stick in traffic. 
The Avs have it now. Moves the puck along the half wall. Gets a piece of it and a play on. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Whacks it into the offensive zone. Georgiev's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. More than half the period left to play. We are all tied up in this one. Shifley's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Turned aside with a glove by Georgiev. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. The Jets win that offensive zone faceoff. Takes the feed. Denies him. He got all of it. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Quick pass to Wagner. Kibberet just got it along the run. And it's a quick pass to Johnson. He carries the puck up along the wing. Fires it on net. Blocked in traffic. Bolardi's got it in the offensive zone. Fires it on the one timer. Made that stop. Scooped up along the wall by Wagner. Colorado's got a hold of the puck now. Oh, what a save by Hellebuck. The Jets play it along the boards. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Connor. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Center and feed, and that chance is blocked. Handles it along the blue line. Quick feed to McCarr. Shuts the door with a great save. Ehlers works the puck in his own zone. The Jets take it from the side. Tremendous stop by Georgiev. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Moves it to Pion. And he slides it quickly to Dillon. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. And the save. Into the offensive end now. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Niederreiter's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick and he lost possession. Fires it into the offensive zone. Pushes it across to Lekanen. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Hellebuck's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Rontanen's got a great shot, guys, but we know the key to getting it off so accurately is when he's got the puck settled and flat on the ice. That's when he can really use that snipe zone ability to really pick his spots. The Jets will play it in their own end. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Gerard's taking it from his own end. Colorado's got the puck against the half wall. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Receives the pass. The Avalanche have the puck in their own end. Play whistle dead offside the call. Well past the midway mark of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Nemestikov's won the draw. Shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. The Jets will go to work here in the offensive zone. Takes the puck at the point. Blast from the point! Oh, he got the pace of it with the glove! Truex lugging the puck. And it's kicked away. 
The Jets gain control of the puck. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Georgiev. Drouet's got it into offensive territory. Pass across to Velarde. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Winnipeg's got it along the wall. A chance in front! Couldn't complete the pass! Colorado's got it along the wall. Fires it! Denies him on the play! Halifax is able to make that save look easy, James. It's because he gets to the top of his crease, he cuts down his angles, and then he can redirect it to safety. Great defensive effort with the stick. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. The Avs played along the boards. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. From point blank! And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the power. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Here they come on the attack. Takes the feed. That's blocked by Hellebuck. In the final moments of this period, we got a tie game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And now he moves the tie of foul. The Jets take it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Ia Fallo. Here's a shot. And he stakes that one with the glove. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Colorado's won the draw. Denied with the glove by Georgiev. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. And that banks off a stick. Moves it quickly over to Wood. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Jets gain control of the puck against the wall. Steps into the offensive end. The Avs gain possession in their own end. And that's a great heads-up play by McCarr. From the open ice, they gain the line. He got all of that hit. And that's intercepted by Niederreiter. Takes a shot. Oh, what a bad save by Georgiev. Picked up along the wall by O'Connor. Feeds it on over to Wood. Puts it on net. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Now, oh, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. the save. McKinnon's got incredible strength and balance when carrying the play. His unstoppable force zone ability means he's hard to jostle off the puck. Hellebuck's got great technique and the athletic ability to backstop his team effectively. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Well, that brings an end to period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. Fans, a portion of tonight's proceeds will fund the Children's Play for Dance City Hospital, providing a city fund. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Well, let's see who comes out hungrier here in this second as we are still tied. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Colorado's game plan to start this second period needs to be to hold on to the puck, keep it simple, and not turn the puck over. I mean, their opponent has been jumping hard. They've got to be ready for it. They've got to make better decisions with the puck. Scrum along the boards. They battle for the puck. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Great pass in the left wing up the middle now. Oh, big time save by Hellebuck. 
Great heads up play with the stick by Filardi. And that will stop. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. We're still in the early stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Winnipeg's got the win off that draw. Ehlers has it in the defensive end. The Jets looking against the half wall. Blocked in traffic. Picked up along the boards by Ehlers. Here's a chance behind the net. Handles the puck. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. The Jets, through their hard work and tenacity, have taken a one-goal lead here in the second. It's certainly better to play with the lead, James, but you know that there's a lot of one way left, and your opponent is going to come pushing and pressing. This game has been tight all the way around, and I expect that it will continue to be. And now he moves it quickly to Manson. The Jets get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Shot! Gets a glove on it to keep it out. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Monahan's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Quick pass to Dillon. Slides it back to the blue line. Cut grab by Monahan. From the right side, takes the pass. Manson's got it against the boards. Quick feed to Gerard. And that's denied by Hellebuck. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. And down he goes as the puck goes free. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing the penalty. Winnipeg's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the look they're looking for. And now it's the Ehlers. Good hit. Now a quick pass to Cogliano. Finds nothing but air on that shot. Through center along the wing. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by McCarr. Colorado's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. The Jets carried along the wall. Here's a chance in front. He scores! What a goal! I love the way that he creates open ice by utilizing his speed, James, off of the rush. And once he enters, he's pushed everyone back, which opens up ice in front of the coverage. And then he delivers a beautiful pass that's finished off correctly. The Jets make their way back to center now, boasting a two-goal lead here in the second. Uh, and you can certainly see that they're playing more relaxed, much easier when you got a two-goal lead here, James. But I've liked everything about their game tonight. They've been creative, they've played free, but they've also been defensively responsible. And he takes the feed. Unable to reach that one. On the attack along the board. Well, this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. The Jets win the draw. And that's knocked away. And that goes off a player. He scores! Shots on the rebound! Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. 
Colorado's found some offense, and now they suddenly have made this game a lot more interesting here in the second. And they changed the momentum. You can see it in the body language and the confidence. They've got themselves within striking distance of an even game. And he's knocked off the puck there. Moves it to Wood. The Avs have it on the offensive end. Winnipeg's got a hold of the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Morrissey. Gets it to the middle! And that's blocked in front! Here's a feed in front! And another pass! Moves it again! Another pass! Another pass! Colorado's playing it from the side. Woods exploring options with the puck. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And they keep the pressure on. Pionk's got it in the defensive zone. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Georgiev's going to hang on for a whistle. Still lots of time left in the period. Colorado's trailing by one. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Drouin's got the puck along the wing. Here's a short pass to Parisi. Off target! Colorado's got it behind the net. Puck scooped up by Pion. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Moves it quickly over to Sandberg. Taken along the wall by Barron. Big time save by Georgiev. Quick pass to Drouin. A chance of that. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. The Jets take control of the faceoff. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. And that's intercepted by McKinnon. Winnipeg's got control of it now from their own end. Niederreiter's got it in the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Schmidt. And he takes the feed. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Grabbed along the board by McKinnon. And he feeds it down to Rantanen. The Avs played along the wing. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Rantanen's known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. Cuts to the paint. Oh, he got a little sliver of it and it stays out. Past the midway mark in this period. It's all tied up. Wagner's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. And they'll dump it in. The Jets gain possession. Sends a pass over. A chance in front. Oh, and he couldn't connect on the play. Scooped up along the wall by Gerard. Moves it over to Wagner. The Jets have the puck now. Can't hang on after that hit. Here he is, shot in front. Hellebuck's one of those goaltenders that the busier he gets, the more efficient he becomes, and it's save after save as his confidence grows and he's more dialed into the game. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. And now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Well, the goaltender has no chance of catching up to this puck. I mean, man, he put some hot sauce, some pepper, and some mustard on this quick-release shot all at once.
The Jets have gone in front by one here in the second period. Yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset when you're ahead by one in a very close deadlock game, James. Now they got to push the pace, put the pedal to the metal, and try and figure out a way to cash in again. Winnipeg's won the draw in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Connor. Picked up by Drouin. Slides it up front. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes the puck along the boards. And that doesn't reach the net. Winnipeg's moving it into the offensive end. Puck picked up by Shifley. The Jets have extended the lead to two now here in the second. Yeah, and sometimes as an athlete, you take a bit of a breather here, and sometimes that frees you to continue to play an attack, but sometimes it leads to complacency. You don't want to give any edge to your opponent when you have them down. With possession along the wall. I don't think anybody was hanging onto the puck after that hit. And he takes the dish. Moves it to Colton. Along the half wall with the puck. And he slides it quickly to O'Connor. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Coaches often measure scoring chances, and he does a real good job to get to that spot, but he will be disappointed. It's so difficult to get. It's in! He scores! It really isn't easy to pull this geek off, James. When you move it to the forehand, you gotta outweight the goaltender, and they're so athletic today that they can move across the crease so fast. But he does a fabulous job with great patience and buries it. The Avalanche have got one back here late in the second. Now, can they build on this? They need to build on it, and it's gotta be a wave of energy. Every single line's gotta come out there and dictate the pace, but they got within one, their striking distance, so their opponent will certainly be feeling it. Puck dumped in. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. And it's a quick pass to Taves. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. Too much traffic in the lane. Gets the puck in deep. Picked up along the wall by Niederreiter. Nice stop by Georgiev. There's the whistle. We'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. The Jets want to take this lead into the second intermission as they continue to put lots of pucks to the net. Monahan's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. He might have a step here. Stop, scores! And I think he put this in on his own. Well, he did, James, and this is so deflating when you put it in on your own and you can just see the body language. He is not happy. Oh, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it, and it just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. The Avalanche have got that goal back, and look at this. They've got the momentum now, Cheryl. You can do all the right things in the game, and you can be trailing, and that's where it pays off right there. All the right things, the good habits, they get the equalizer, and you can see the excitement on the bench. Colorado's won it. Slides the puck over. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Reaches out and pokes it away. And they send it right back to him. And he's ridden off the puck. Angles it over to Schmidt. Handles the pass. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Standing tall with the save. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Here in the late going of the frame, we are all tied up in this one. The Avs will start off on the attack after winning the draw. That's gloved by Hellebuck. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go.
Colorado's won the draw. The Jets have it from their own end. Byram's moving the puck through his own zone. Now over to Johansson. Colorado's on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Parisi. Hellebox opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Winnipeg's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Here's a shot. Oh, a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. He's got a step, and he makes the save. Great pressure on the offensive end by Parisi. Looks to set up at the point now. Pokes it away in his own end. Sends it in deep. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Holton stick handling in his own zone. Firing. Centering pass. And that's intercepted. 40 minutes to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths. And then it's on to period number three next. Join our fan club and receive a membership card. Discounts on team merchandise and team link zones as well as email notifications on upcoming 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams, and we're ready to go. Puck is dropped on the third, and if you love offense, well, stick around for this one. Here's a chance. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Avs win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hellebuck. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. McKinnon's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. They've got the defense outnumbered. Picked up along the boards by Connor. Quick pass to Rantanen. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Rips it. Oh, and that one pumps up short as he just gets enough of that one. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Great reach with the stick. James, I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. Winnipeg's got the lead here in period number three. So Cheryl, do you protect or do you keep on pushing now? I think there's a fine balance here. I mean, you don't just want to play to hold on. You want to attack for the win, James, but you got to recognize where you are on the ice and you got to trust who you put out there. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. A power play then can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. And he slides it quickly to Gerard. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Ayafalo. Here's a chance. Oh, that's a huge stop by Georgiev. Ayafalo's made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. Nemestikov's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Jets win the defensive zone faceoff. Here's a shot. Oh, a clutch save! Hellebuck's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. 
clearing attempt. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on a swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. Hellebuck's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and coach can get the right personnel out there. Colorado's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And it goes off a stick and off to the side. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Drew has won the draw there on the attack. Turns him away. Kids in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Lekkonen's got the puck. Winnipeg's penalty killers get a hold of it. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up, and then he's taken down. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Here's a pass in front, and that's stopped. The Avs have created numerous scoring chances, but they've just run into a hot goalie tonight here early in this third period. And off the draw, they win possession. Slides the pass over to Colton. Colorado's got it across the line. Winnipeg's got the puck. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blows, stopping the play. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Now, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. Play whistle dead as the puck goes into the bench, and I think that woke up a few players. Scheifele's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Winnipeg's got it in the offensive zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Colorado's got it in their own zone. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Winnipeg's through center right now in the offensive end. Cross ice pass to Johnson. And now it's over to Cogliano. Good solid check and he loses control of it. Nice zone entry from the middle. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Sends it in on the attack. Good battle along the boards for the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Morrissey. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, it's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. Winnipeg's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Wagner's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Nemestikov's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. They fight for it along the boards. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? The Avs PK unit delivers on that. It's amazing how a kill can put your opponent on their heels because they had an opportunity on the offensive side of the puck. Scores! And the scratching and clawing 
has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to evens, James, and I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, a big defensive breakdown leads to this opportunity, and he makes the most of it with a teed-up shot. It's a one-timer, and he hammers it home. Colorado's got the tying goal, and now can they find that go-ahead goal, Cheryl? They continue the momentum. They certainly can. They look like they're playing free, so they're moving their feet. They're being creative, and they're attacking. They're looking to win this game, not just keep it at evens. Drills them! Beautiful read in the defensive end by Wood. To his teammate! The Jets have it against the wall. Through the neutral zone and along the boards, here they come. Taken by Dillon. Pass right back. Sends the pass in front. Picked off in front. A little crash and Mbanyan forces the turnover. Pionk's got the puck in his own zone. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. And here comes the judgment from the official. The Avs have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Winnipeg's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. And man, has it been effective. Winnipeg's got the puck along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Shifley's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Avs win it in the defensive zone. And they get that puck down the ice. Fires it into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Shifley. And that's poked away by Johansson. They go on the attack through center. Quick shot! Denied by the puck stopper. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. McKinnon's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Jets win that offensive zone faceoff. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, what a save! Oh, that doesn't swing the mention in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. The Jets gain possession along the wall. Colton's penalty is almost expired. The Jets fail to capitalize on the power play. That's a great job by this PK unit, James, creating some momentum for their team and getting out of it without getting scored on. And this is critical, given that it's a tie game. Moose to Rantanen. And that's a great heads-up play by Pilardi. Slides it across to Connor. Gains the zone from the right side. Center into the middle. This is it off again here. Another pass. And that's deflected off someone in front. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Textbook poke check by Morrissey. Takes a shot. And that's stopped by Hellebuck. And the puck's kicked free. Colorado's looking to break out. Slides the cross ice pass. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back and forth action in the offensive zones. Not much defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. Winnipeg's across the blue line. Slides the puck down low. Here's a short pass to Nemestikov. That opportunity is rejected. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Solid check to slow him down. Who's the puck? 
Shot! Nothing! The Avs have it behind the cage. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Winnipeg's got the puck. Strong use of the body. Puck grabbed by Kivaranta. Compliano's gonna play it against the half wall. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. And that's off target as it hits a body. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. And look at this, all sorts of pressure here building. And the defenders come away with it. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Here we go, pucks in deep. Moves it quickly over to Cogliano. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. James, you know in practice when you do target shooting? Guess why? So you hit the net. I think he's got to get back to it and work on it. Taken along the wall by Byram. Quick pass to Cogliano. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Ehlers crosses the line and is on the attack. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. That's the third call of the period, and it really looks like they weren't dialed in or ready to play in this game, and preparation is key. Otherwise, things like this happen. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? McKinnon's looked like the better competitor tonight, guys. He might not have any points, but he's still been able to work hard and stick with it. Winnipeg's one. Uh, there was a whistle after that big-time shot. I think it busted the glass. Yeah, it didn't shatter, though. It's amazing today with the new technology of the sticks and the way these players shoot the puck that it didn't just blast and shatter and explode. Instead, it's a crack, so the maintenance crew will come out and they'll just replace the panel. Tries to get it out of their own end. Oh, and a big sigh of relief there as they get the puck out. Yeah, late in the game, you want to make sure that you protect the house, you protect the foundation, which is your own zone. So any way you can get it over the blue line is a good way. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Shot! And a stop by Georgiev. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. And a solid job tying up his opponent. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Looking to break out here on the power play. Gains the zone along the right wall. Quick feed to Niederreiter. Stopped by the goaltender. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Johansson's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Colorado's taking possession in their own end. Puck slid down the ice. Looks to make a play over to Perfetti. Moves it to Niederreiter. Here's a shot. Goldin has spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. That'll do it for the man advantage. Phenomenal penalty kill performance on that one. Timing is so important in embracing the pressure of that particular moment, James. And this power play went out there. Looks like their sticks were held tight and they couldn't find a way to execute. That's a tough one. Here's a shot! Well, this is a real curveball at the end of the third period, isn't it? Your PK unit has to go out there in a tie game with all the pressure on them and find a way to sacrifice and kill it off. The Jets once again send out their power play unit, and what a golden opportunity here. Well, the opportunity is right now. Yes, they haven't had a great power play, but to execute at this critical time, it is now, it is there for the taking. And that goes off the post and out. The Jets bring another one off the post. So frustrating, James, in a tie game where they have the opportunity to go ahead. Listen, the goaltender's going to tell you they're in good position. They're forcing that wide shot. Center and feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Shifley set the faceoff dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Colorado 
just going to start with the puck on their own end. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Avs will kill off a few extra seconds now. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Winnipeg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Johansson sliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Shifley's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Huge steal at his own end. The Jets have it now. Top top oh, what a stop by Georgiev. Goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Shifley's ready for the draw on this man advantage. And they take possession here in the offense. Score! The go-ahead goal on the play! And special teams are critical, and this is exactly why you have the opportunity to change the momentum in the game, and you do it with an executed power play. On the dying seconds of the third, they're able to capitalize on an opportunity, James, but I thought that throughout this third period, there was a ton of urgency and push to get that goal. The Jets are looking to close things out. They have been dominant all night long, and they continue to lead late in the third. And we are all over with this one tonight. Cheryl, I really like how this team stayed with it all night long. They ran into a hot goaltender, but you know what? They kept putting pucks on that, and, and it paid off. It really did pay off, James, and sometimes you do have to stick with the game plan and really trust that what they're doing is right. Listen, they earned the possession time. They earned the ability to get the puck to the net. They need a little more net on presence, I thought, but they found a way to capitalize. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight. Everybody in the broadcast crew as well, and from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabalski wishing you a safe and healthy night, and we'll see you down the road again soon.